Hey guys, it's Iron Manor Core here, and this is the top 10 best free MMO RPG games, in my opinion. Um, what I'm going to talk about is the questing, the gameplay, the leveling, the graphics, and the skills and characters involved in these games. So to start off, number 10 is Dragonica. Um, this is a game made by G Potato, and it is... I'll start off by talking about the questing. The questing in this game is pretty easy. It's pretty basic, too. Like, it's just your ordinary, you read it, and then you go to it, and you just look on your map, and it's like, oh, there it is. It's not much of a guide towards it, but it is a fairly easy. So the quest, I would give a pretty good, out of 10, I would say about a good solid 8. Um, for gameplay, it is a fun game. As you can tell, like, you're jumping around and you're using a bunch of skills and you just AoEs. Like, you're sh like look at this. I, I'm AoEing the crap out of you guys. So, and you're spamming your X button for your damage, for your, just your basic attack. And this is a magician too, so eventually you become a healer as you level up. So there's your healer, and then and you got your you got your standard warrior for your tank or DPS, whichever one you choose for your role. Then you got your archer for DPS, and then you got your thief as a DPS too. Um, it's like a sort of the thief would be a rogue, as in World of Warcraft rogue. So that's pretty good. Um, the skills and characters, I like the skills in this game. As you can tell, this is some kind of special skill I'm using here with the lightning stuff. It's actually, a, I like that skill because you got lots of AoEs towards it, so I enjoy using that skill a lot. And then you got your sometimes anti-air um, skills there too. Um, Graphics-wise on this is pretty e pretty good. They're just basic and it's a few years old, so those are pretty good too. Leveling in this game is fairly good. It's not hard as hell, but eventually as you get higher, it will be harder. So this game is a, my top 10. So... For number 9, I have as Last Chaos. Last Chaos is a fairly decent game. I didn't like the graphics on it too much, though, considering it was it was kind of... It was alright, but um, I didn't quite like it. Uh, Question in this game is fairly easy, too. Um, no, no hard done by it. It's just the thing is with Question in this game, it is hard to find some parts. Um, I, you don't really know where you're going half the time as, lo as far as I'm concerned right now. I, it, I, there's like no guide towards it and the map doesn't seem to help me either. But um, the skills that I like, this is, um, I think I'm using a mage on this as one as well. I like my mages so. Um, it's a fairly easy concept of mages too. Um, you got your standard, you know, your tank and your DPSs in this game too. You got your healers too. It's every game you meet, you're going to have the warrior and stuff like that. So pretty much that's how it is. Um, the skills in this game, there's not many skills I have right now. And I am like uh, level 12 or something in this right now. And it's just, there's not many skills. I have two skills right now. And questing in this game, mm, the questing is good, but um, it's fairly fast for leveling too. I like the leveling in this because you level pretty quick and the graphics are pretty... S they're pretty nice. They're your standard graphics, basically, for a few years old game, but gameplay's fun, and I enjoy this game, and I will be playing it more. Number eight, Archlord. Um, Archlord is honestly a very enjoyable game I've been liking for the past little while. I've been on and off with it, and um, so far, I am just beating the crap out of these goblins right now, so... <laughs> um, gameplay wise, I'd say it's a fun, entertaining game that you can never stop having non-stop fun with. The damage is good, you got your skills. I have two skills right now, my normal and then I got my fire skill, so you do lots of damage with that. Leveling in this game, very easy. Um, I enjoyed it every single time, you level up so quick like that. The skills are good, the graphics are... they're... There's their Webzin's graphics, which is pretty good. I like Webzin. Their their graphics have always been a good thing. So, um, questing, very easy. As you can see on my quest, there they're red. You click that, and it pops up on your map and shows a little X. So it's very easy for questing in this game, which I like a lot. And looting and stuff like that. And there's all that there. So you never really run out of money either. So it's a good thing too. Um. I really enjoy this game. This game is my top eight. Um, for number seven, I have Ica Online. 
Now this game, I've, I, I honestly um, have been playing this game off and on for a long time, and um, right now I'm playing as a dual gunner, and I'm going through another, I'm going through a dungeon right now, so it is pretty fun. This game is lots of fun if you got some buddies to play with, and the leveling in this game is ridiculously easy. Like, it's not like another game I know that I will talk about soon, but this, it's lots of fun. You got your skills, and the graphics are really, really good. I've always enjoyed the graphics in this game. They were always so much fun to play with. Um, questing, really easy. You got your auger route for it, too. All you'd have to do is click the button, and then your guy walks right to it. So the questing now in this game is very easy. The skills and characters, lots of characters to choose from. You got your, you got, uh, you got your rifleman. You got your dual gunner. You got, you just got a bunch of classes to play in this game. It's Will we be unreal. Able to escape? You got um, warrior, paladin, rifleman, dual gunner, warlock, and a cleric, with, uh, which is your healer basically. And then you got sh so many DPSs. Um, I like the dual gunner because you use dual guns, so I've always been a fan of that stuff. So. That's always been my favorite, and I've always liked doing DPS, so. For leveling, very easy. Gameplay, fun. Graphics, really nice. They're really clear and really just clear to see everything. So the graphics, I would give a good 10. Um, questions. The thing about questing is, there's some parts in this where you have troubles finding where you need to go. Um, I've had some issues where I couldn't find a person and my quest was not giving me where to go. It was, it was guiding me to a one area that I couldn't find and I was like, okay then, where am I supposed to go? It was like, oh. So that was a bad thing I had in there, but otherwise the quest in this game is really good. Um, um, I have not been playing, I have not, I'm not too far in this game yet, but I will continue playing this game. It is lots of fun, and I enjoy playing with a bunch of buddies. This guy decided to help me in this dungeon here, so he's just pulling me through it. And the um, yeah, it's pretty good actually. I, this is my top seven uh, game for RPGs, and and now for my number six, Cable Online. This game I enjoy playing. Or, no, I enjoy playing. Sorry, um, the questing in this game very easy it's very easy to spot all your um quests in this game like right now i'm doing a quest here and as you can see there's a nice little x there to show me where it is and it's very easy to navigate through this game all it tells you where to go right away and shows you where to go so very easy for questing gameplay fun as hell honestly i enjoy this game so much that i just can't stop using all the skills in this game like there's a combo skill there and just it's lots of fun i enjoy playing this and i've had some buddies play this before and but it'd be always nice to have a couple local buddies to play with in this game so i'm gonna see if i can get my friends hooked on this mm, leveling um it's a little i say a little tough like it's not like fast leveling like quick 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 it does take a little time but you'll get used to it after a while um, i enjoy it all so the leveling is it's a challenge but the xp is pretty good graphics a good solid eight i say like you got your nice little uh combat text going on there yeah you got your health there on the top left and it's really clear and all like it's really nice high res graphics and i enjoy them like they're really nice and minty i guess you could say um for skills and characters, you got your warrior, blader, wizard, force archer, your force shielder, and your force blader. I am playing as a force blader right now, so this is some just like a very DPS guy. So skills are really cool in this. Use one after another, and it's like a big combo on your skill, so it's really easy to use. So that's my number six. And as you can see, I'm showing the, the whole quest thing on the map there, so that's pretty good. So that is my number six RPG. Number five, Sun, also known as Soul of the Ultimate Nation. This game is probably the most 
I don't. Sorry about that buzzing too. That is with my skill up, not what it is. But as I was saying, the leveling in this game is ridiculously fast. I went from one to thirty and like half an hour to an hour. It was so this, the leveling in this game, in this game is so fast. Like it's not even funny. Like you can grind for five ten minutes, you'll be level ten in like two seconds. But the max level in this game is like hundred and forty or something like that. So you, it gets tougher around forty or fifty. And I have a fifty two berserker. Questing in this game. Really easy. Um, all you have to do is go on the map and then you'll see where you want to go, and it's pretty easy, um, easily for questing and easy XP and easy money in this gameplay. Lots of fun if you got your buddies too. Like I say, every RPG you play, you probably have buddies. Like right now, I'm in a sort of like an instance, and now I'm alone. It's pretty boring. Then again, I also am a lot higher level than this. So, gameplay is lots of fun too. So you got a bunch of skills to use. You got skill tree, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, graphics, um, they're pretty good. They're just a little faded, I found it. So, graphics are pretty really good. Eight. Skills and characters, like I said, lots of skills, lots of characters, and lots of fun, guys. No, number four, the Aurora World, one that I cannot say. I won't say too much, but I won't say too little. This game so far, as you can tell, I'm a lot higher level than I was on my other video. I was doing the beginner levels, and right now I'm like level 22, 23. And let's just start off by questing. The questing, easiest thing of life. Like, oh my god, the questing in this game, so easy. You get the quest? You click on where you need to go, and it's auto route. That's it, auto route. And then you just sit back and just wait for the quest to come. And this, and this is a beta game too, so it's not legit um, fully patched, and there's still working bugs and stuff like that. Um, gameplay. What is there not to say about this gameplay? This gameplay in this is really, really good. The reason it's top four is because it's top four because it's a beta, and I, I have played a bunch of other RPGs that I really like more than this, but this game is really well made, and so I enjoy playing this game a lot. I've been still playing it too, I'm leveling up like crazy. Leveling, fairly easy, um, it's not too slow, and as you can tell on this one quest, it says get to level 30, so like, what kind of quest is that? You got to get to level 30 as a quest, like, lots of, it's just simple, and then as you can see, I'm not my person right now, I'm some kind of form, so that's kind of cool how they made that. Um, graphics, love it. Graphics in this game are really, really clear and just beautiful. Like, I can't stop looking at these graphics. It's just the one thing they got going on right now is a window problem, window mode problem. I go with 16 by 1050 and it doesn't go 16 by 1050, so it's a little buggy. Skills and characters, you got lots of skills and characters to go through on this. It's ridiculous. You got your three nations. Of Helos, Eos, and Selenes, I think they're called. So you got a bunch of them. And then you got your. You start off as a beginner and then you work your way as a profession. I'm a mage, so. Number four, guys. Number three, The Lord of the Rings Online, also known as Latro. This game I've been playing with my buddies. Um, oh, sorry, my buddy, because my other buddy quit this game around on me, so, what a douchebag. Um, this game, honestly, have made about four or five characters. Not very high level, but my highest level is, like, I think it's 52, and it's, a. Uh, I think, I'm a captain, captain. Captain does DPS, and he buffs his, uh, party members. This game, for questing... Very easy. All you have to do is accept your quest, and you have to do lots of running in this game. That is the thing. It's such a big area, you gotta do lots of running. But questing, very easy, lots of fun, and like I said, easy. <laughs> it's probably one of the easiest I've ever played ever since some other games. Gameplay, as you can tell, the gameplay is really good. The I'm playing as a archer right now, and... I honestly, I've played this so much, it's ridiculous. I did lots of uh, enter counters, as my friends would uh, bug me about that. I always say enter counters, but it's en encounters. So, 
there's lots of those to do with your buddies too i did like i've done probably like hundreds of and en enter counters <laughs> um leveling fairly it, the exp on this game is very good because you get your rested experience as you can see on the bottom there you can i leveled up pretty good in this game at like 40s so it's the leveling experience on this is very easy and very fast if you do your quest and you're grinding like crazy um skills and characters you got so many classes in this game you got race you got sure like five different races which is dwarf human elf and hobbit hobbit i don't make because they're just smart but your classes you got your guardian as a tank you got your captain as a dps you got your lore master you got your minstrel which is a healer or dps i believe a burglar a rune keeper a warden a champion and you got your hunter oh sorry that's what i am i'm hunter as if you want to it number two league of legends or lol if you want to short form um i know what you guys are going to say right off the bat it's a strategy game but it is a mix of strategy and rpg and that's what i go it as i think it is an rpg yes sure it's a little bit strategic but you're not building things here and setting up a defensive perimeter, perimeter like StarCraft or Warcraft. So, but it is very strategic. Um, this game has a ton of options. You got so many classes in this game. You got, as right now I'm playing as Jax. So he's a melee guy and this guy, I kicked the shit out of this guy. I was like 21 to 5 in this game. So I literally killed every single one in this game. There's no questing, so that's out of the question. The gameplay, tons and 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 tons, 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 Leveling, I guess you could say leveling in this game is average. It depends on how many kills you get and how much time and how often you're around, but there's no max level. But leveling up, I guess, for your overall like whole gameplay um, in League of Le in your whole experience of League of Legends is fairly easy. So I like it. Um, as I said, you got and the graphics in this game are really, really pretty. Pretty. I like this. Look at this. Look at this. Boom, boom. Oh, pounce him. Owned him. Just like that. Lots of skills. Well, you got like five skills. You got your three little ones, and then you got your main one. So that's number two, guys. And for number one, it is Star Wars: The Old Republic, guys. This game is the shit. I am seriously telling you that. This game, I've had so much fun. I've played a hundred probably 60 hours of this i know it's not much but it's because my friends have not been playing lately so they're a bunch of douchebags but we are gonna play this again soon because wow this game is the best rpg game i've ever played in my life compared to world of warcraft i guess you could say it is like a world of warcraft but it's a star wars edition questing so simple and gameplay fun as hell you got your you it's just sure you can't do instances instances uh, quite as often because you need your buddies with you or pals and it trust me all the guys here that you're not actually friends with are douchebags or unless you're not even a guild I guess but still lots of fun leveling in this game is very good it's not hard at all it doesn't take you a lifetime I have I'm not that high actually if I think about it this guy is level 16 bounty hunter and then you got um, a 21 Jedi sentinel so I have two lightsabers Graphics on this game, the best graphics I've ever seen in an RPG game. Not gonna lie, it takes a very decent amount of graphics card. Um, I have everything on high and stuff, and I'm getting 60 frames pretty good. And it's just, it's the graphics they require graphics card, a, a decent amount. I have a 560 Ti, so it's a little bit overkill, but I'd say like a 460 or maybe even an 8800 GT will do it. Um, you got your two sides. You got your Republic and your Empire, like always, right? It's at Star Wars. 
So you got your trooper, you got your smuggler, you got your Jedi Knight, you got your Jedi con Counselor for uh, the Republic. And then you got your Bounty Hunter, your Sith Warrior, your Imperial Agent, which is an Assassin, Saboteur, and their secret weapon. And then you got your Sith Inquisitor, which is sort of like, um, who would I say as an example? More like uh, Count Dooku. I was trying to figure out his name for a second, but that's... That's who the Sith Inquisitor is, because he doesn't use his lightning bolts, right? So, he's more or less like a Sith Inquisitor. I find it, so... This game is my number one RPG, so... Hope you guys liked the review. Please comment and let me know what you actually think. Thanks, guys.